Welcome to the Gamer Review. My name is Joe Mark Legeta. Today I'm going to ask you, should I buy Resident Evil 2 or Anthem? Yes, I, I, I can't decide on Resident Evil 2 or Anthem. So here is how this started. Resident Evil 2 was coming out and I was very excited about it. I saw it at PAX, was very, very, very interested in it. I couldn't wait to play it. And then it passed and I was playing Dragon Quest XI and then I started playing Spyro the Dragon 3. And now that Spyro is winding down, I'm looking forward to a new game. In that time, I played the Anthem demo and I kind of got an inkling, a scratch, uh, that I need to itch, if you were, <laughs> to get Anthem. And now that it's been a little bit too much time for Resident Evil 2 and, and Anthem's right around the corner, I'm, I'm not sure which one I should buy. Uh, will I get both? There's always the get both crowd, but I have my doubts about Anthem and I'm kind of afraid of Resident Evil 2. Let's start with Resident Evil 2 since it was the first one to come out. Of course, it's the remake of Resident Evil 2, that classic game on the PlayStation 1, and shocking to say, I never played it. I played Resident Evil 1, I actually played a little bit of Resident Evil 3, never played Resident Evil 2. I played 4, 5, 6, 7, never played 2, played a little bit of 3. 2 is the one that I played the least, You're right? Even though I love Leon in 4, and I think Leon's a great character, and even though they changed the way he looked, changed the actor and everything, I'm still captivated, I still want to play it. And at first I was like, I don't know, remakes or, you know, whatever. I was skeptical just like everyone out. Since it's come out, it's got nothing but critical praise. Everyone's talking about how great it is. Everyone's talking about how fun it is, but then I heard it was a little difficult, which is like, okay, the difficulty's not bad, and there's a lot of replayability with this game. And I'm, call me weird, I'm not really in a horror movie mode right now. Summer's coming up. I want to play something exciting, shiny, and new, and that's where Anthem came in. Anthem. It kind of snuck up on me. I didn't know that I was really looking forward to Anthem until the beta came out. And then my friend and brother were like, hey, play it with us. And there was a lot of connectivity issues, and it was a mess. And I was so mad at it. And then the public beta came out. Wasn't as bad. The connectivity issues were pretty much fixed. I had a lot of fun playing it, flying around, it was great. So then I was like, well, what the heck, I was going to get Resident Evil, but maybe I should wait, get Anthem, play that till the nth degree, then get Resident Evil 2, you know, save my money, don't buy more than one games a month, that should be something that you do, not buy too many games, stretch them out, decide on what you want to do, and that's what you're helping me with. I don't know, I, I don't know, they're both fun. In different ways both of them are third person shooters one's more horror one's way more action one is forcing you to do multiplayer the other one's forcing you to do single player one of them is play forever the other ones you can play forever but you have to keep replaying it maybe on different difficulties maybe with different people but you can keep playing it anthem you could pick all types of different armors you can progress you can progress with your friends with my family and just keep going so both of them seem limitless in a way, not necessarily Resident Evil 2, but Anthem definitely. There is a lot of concerns. I did think that Anthem is a mess. So that's the other thing. As much as I want to play it, and this is, I mean, I just want to play with my friends and family because I know they're going to be playing it. That's my main thing about Anthem. And I know friends and family are playing it. I want to play it with them. Resident Evil, I can play on my own whenever I want. <clears throat> the pull for me, even with all the mistakes it's made, all the dumb things. I'm not buying it week one. I want to buy Anthem week two. After all of the bugs have been fixed, after everything is done, then play it with my family friends. And be way lower level than them. And then Resident Evil 2, I can get like at any time it feels like. And I could wait like a year till it's cheaper. But man, I can't I can't get past that buzz. I like wanna get it because that buzz is so big. You know, like there's so many good things said about it. So it's difficult to know what my game of February is going to be. It's gonna be Resident Evil. Is it gonna be Anthem? Please let me know which one, I don't know if it's a better thing, but which one would be a better like money investment? Should I trust Anthem? You know, at first I didn't think they would help with the public beta. 
Now the public beta was better, which means when the game comes out, it's going to be better. Of course there's microtransactions, but they're purely skins, and there's none that I know of in Resident Evil 2, um, other than getting the original soundtrack and original like sounds from Resident Evil 2, from the original PS1 game. Uh, you can buy them online and download that, but otherwise, I, I don't know of any microtransactions. Yeah, so it's just swirling around my head. I don't know what decision to make. Please help me. I would love to know which one should I buy. Uh, one of these great looking games, one I'm a little worried about, one I know is great, but yeah, so help help me decide which one. This has been Game Ray Review. My name is Jamar. Please don't like, subscribe, like, see, and help me decide should I buy Resident Evil 2 or Anthem because they both sound great.